Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys, let's take a look again on the euro currency. So as you can see our doubts on the perspective on the upward action were not in vain because yesterday indeed market has shown the weakness around the same 1750 area and we said that fundamentally um, the oral situation stands not in favor of the euro uh, and uh, fundamentally the dollar looks uh, stronger and recent action could be just technical issue because currently uh, the massive rumor stands on the market that Fed could rise rate in t uh, today, so today tomorrow session, so that they will not wait till the September and it really could re change the rate in August, and that will be surprise a decision and it really could make the significant impact on the market. So in recent upward action, it could be some kind of the balancing of the speculative position and something that's sort some some covering of the positions before this event and so on, and you can see that. Uh, Indeed, this upward action has stopped right in the moment when we said that we said keep close eye on the possible bearish signs that you could see on the market. Take the long position only if market will break through the 1750. If market will fail to do that and turn down, show some, will show some bearish sign. You can try and take the short position. And in general, 1750 guys, it's also important from the weekly perspective because those of you who read our Weekly reports carefully, you probably remember that in the weekly chart, this candle, this price action the last week was the bearish grubber on the weekly chart. And this grubber suggests the taking out of these lows. So it really could become the decisive moment for starting action to the 1450. So currently it's uh, very important what, what Fed, will, Fed will say with this uh, meeting. Uh, but currently, situation doesn't look really bullish on the market. In general, if you'll take a look at this price consolidation that we have right up the, after the strong plunge down, overall price action stands inside the range of this plunge. And this is definitely doesn't look like the major bullish reversal. So it's it's kind of the very choppy and sloppy consolidation that mostly re reminds some just retracement. Uh, market looks heavy, no significant upward action, long tails here you can see on the candles. So uh, it mostly kind of pause before downward continuation. Um, it's mostly corresponds to that uh, rather than some pre preparation for a strong bullish reversal. Uh, because usually when the market travels up, uh, it, it happens faster and uh, it's definitely not this dislike of action should be formed here as the starting point of the reversal. Anyway, uh, market stands here inside of this range and we said that breakout of this range will determine the further direction. Uh, that's common practice uh, when you see the long tail candle uh, on the market and market stands for a considerable period of time inside of this range. Usually further direction will depend on the breakout. This very often happens. So anyway, uh, currently in the shorter term situations, if you take a look at the forward diaphragm chart, you see that market has failed to break this triangle first. So this was an attempt, but market has failed to turn it back down. But what's more important is that market has failed to pass through the 1750. And if previously we still could talk about kind of the, I don't know, hand jars or something of that sort, because market keeps harmony of these laws. But <coughs> guys, this is action back to the net ne neckline. And uh, following the logic of the reverse controls, market should show the breakout when it has formed the right arm, comes to the neck, comes to the neck, and should break it. If this hasn't happened, this signs of weakness that significantly increase the chance of the failure of these controls. So uh, currently we can't talk about this pattern anymore, and this looks this is not a really good sign for the bulls. The market has failed to pass through this area. On the shorter term, uh, on the hourly chart. Here what we've, we've got recently, so uh, recall what we said here, this, this was the XOP if you remember from our A, B, C bottom, so this mining and shortage has been completed perfectly with this target 
and we said keep an eye on the signs of weakness. So do not take the short position until you will not get the clear bearish signs. So uh, first of all, we've got very strong bearish divergence with these tabs. Also, take a look at the Russian range of this previous area. It's minor break up and fast return down that has been completed by the reverse candle because market has created the new top and close below the lows of the previous session. So this is reversal candle and signs of weakness. Unfortunately, or anyway, we, we haven't got the hand shoulders that will, could become the simpler identification of the reversal, but still uh, it hasn't been formed. Market just dropped. But anyway, currently take a look. Uh, market has shown the bearish reversal swing because it's dropped lower below these lows. And now reversal swing because this swing down is greater than the previous swing up. Usually when the market forms reversal swing, it shows some ABCD retracement up. And that's why here, guys, I am suggesting it kind of the guard is cheaper to sell. That's the pattern that we could keep an eye on. That could be formed here. So if we will get the clear and gradual ABCD retracement up, that's will be the chance for taking the short position. Because market probably will show at least a minor continuation and it will let you to move your stop to break even or take the fast profit if you trade on the hourly chart on the hourly 15 minute charts. So currently as you can see your stance at the support. So this is weekly pivot point, 50% support area. Uh, so also natural support resistance as you can see here. So uh, that's why here it's really could become the first pause in the downward direction so that the swing is completed and market right now probably will start to form the retracement. If we will get very fast upward continuation, something of that sort, or ABCD will be very steep within just few candles within uh, in it. So it's better to not take the short position because currently it's a bit nervous situation on the market, guys, with the expectation of a lot of uh, fundamental data on the market. It's it's, it is better to get some uh, patience of the good shape. So it, if, it, if it will be gradual, uh, not really very fast, it's normal type of retracement. In this case, yes, we could keep an eye on the guardless people to sell. So that's what we see right now on the market. So in general, the trading plan stands the same. While market stands below the 1750, and especially after it has formed this bearish swing, chance on the downward continuation ex exists because also guys we have the actual bearish grower on the weekly chart here this action of the previous week uh, speaking about the long position and taking on the long position is will be possible only if market will break it up that's why currently we are still keep watching for a possible bearish continuation patient here